Uh, members of the Ghana Hotels Association are expected to march towards the premises of the Public Utilities Regulatory Commission uh, today. Ahead of that, President of the Association is addressing the press uh, on their concerns about the increase in utility tariffs. Let's listen in. Bluntly, the administration of the Tourism Development Fund has denied Tourism Trade Associations the needed financial support to be effective partners in the public-private sector collaboration space. Another worrying trend, and this is very important, another worrying trend over the past few years has been the lack of accountability in the disbursement of the fund. We call on the board of the Ghana Tourism Authority to revisit the proposal for a portion of the fund to be allocated to functional, functional tourism trade associations every year to support the aspiration of the associations. We also call on the board to revert to the old practice where the stakeholders were updated regularly on the inflows and outflows of the fund. The Public-Private Partnership Forum, this is the last one. The Public-Private Partnership Forum, which we are all used to as PPPF, is a provision in the Tourism Act 817 that is structured to ensure regular, and that's quarterly, engagement among stakeholders in the tourism and hospitality sector with the aim of discussing challenges facing the sector and looking for ways to addressing them thereof. The association believes that the enormous benefits embedded in the PPPF is yet to be tapped and steps must be taken urgently to address it. A case in point, is a recent presidential summit on tourism held on 30th and 31st May 2023, which had all the elements of a PPPF. The president was there, uh, private sector was there, academia was there, all the gurus in the industry were there. A number of important issues were raised at the summit, which when addressed will go a long way to advance the growth and tourism in the country. Unfortunately, Almost three months after the summit, there seems to be no roadmap for addressing the issues that were raised at the presidential summit. The association has also raised a number of issues, such as mandatory membership of hotels association by hotels, copyright royalty, funding of trading, trading activities, all of which have not received the needed attention. The association is calling on the ministry and the Ghana Tourism Authority to work towards getting the most out of the PPPF. In conclusion, ladies and gentlemen of the press, we trust that we have put out here this morning, or what we have put out here this morning will serve as a wake-up call to the government, ministries, and agencies to pay more attention to some of the issues confronting the hotel industry and the tourism and hospitality industry at large to ensure its sustenance and growth. As we say in our association, together we can make a difference. Meanwhile, ladies and gentlemen of the press, immediately after this co conference, we are marching to the head office of the PRC to present a petition to the executive secretary. We have notified the police of this match in line with the Public Order Act. Thank you so much for your rapt attention. In fact, this is what we are going through. People see us and they think we are rich, but they don't know who we are. The president of Ghana Hotel Station has finished. But we'd like to hear from our sister organization, our sister association, Reverend Jida. Maybe you have something to add to what the president just said. Yes. Uh, as far as we we all operate the same facilities, whatever Ghana hotels are going through, we are also going through the same thing. Day by day, night by night, I share ideas with Dr. Nyamike. 
when we received our bills, I immediately called him and I said, this is what has happened. And he said, yes. He also received, but he thought there is a leakage in his hotel. <laughs> <laughs> so we said, then let's look at the best way to address. We wrote to Ghana Water First. There was no response. We wrote also to the head office. Then PURC, they responded. And as doctor have indicated, the same answer was given to us. So how can we be operating a facility? And high cost. We are not selling water. Water is part and parcel of our service. So anyone that comes to the hotel, by all means we use water, but we are not selling it. So they, they, they're supposed to understand where we are coming from. They say you are using the water to do business. It is not the water that we are using to do business. It's part of our service. If you go to a hotel and there is no water, you can't be comfortable. Because hotel facility is supposed to give security, comfortability, and service. And water is part of our service. I believe that in his address, he didn't even go to electricity. Why? He mentioned it, the increment. But we understood how electricity were also increasing. According to what PURC have indicated. But for water, from 13 Ghana cities or 13 point something Ghana cities to 30 Ghana cities. From 11, first it was 9 in September. Mm -hmm. And they, uh, they increased it, then it went to 11. And 11 were expecting that the second quarter would be better. That is, okay, 13 went, then it shoot to 30, which is high. Hotels that are being built around uh, 800 Ghana cities. Now it's about 4,000 something. And no hotel at the moment, because clients are not there. Customers are not there. The Ghana Hotels Association addressing the press ahead of a march uh, to the premises of the Public Utilities Regulatory Commission. They are raising concerns about the cost of water and electricity. We keep following that for you. We'll bring you updates subsequently. You're watching.